The second of our finals is another not to miss with Penrith and South both leaving no stone unturned in the hunt for Premiership glory. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Anthony Stevold and Steve, let's first go to Penrith. Now, it's quite funny, we went out with NRL.com and chatted to the team on Monday. All of his teammates call him the puppeteer, Mr. Consistent. I call him Mr. Humble. Dylan Edwards, he's had a great season this year for the boys. Oh, he's been outstanding. In my opinion, he's been Penrith Panthers' uh, best player this year. And, you know, he didn't make New South Wales State of Origin, but he's got a player called James Tedesco in front of him there. So a lot of his teammates get recognised with higher honours. He doesn't. But what he brings to the Penrith Panthers is work right off the ball, on both sides of the ball. So defensively, in attack, He's always in and around the ball. And as you, as you said, look, you know what you're going to get from him. And, and that's why I would imagine that you know, his teammates love playing with him because uh, watching him play each and every week, you know what you're going to get. Great consistency, been outstanding this year. And I think uh, one of the other comments was uh, the boys were saying we're stoked he gets under the high ball and he runs it back as well, so we don't have to go back as far. Exactly. Yeah, no, he does. He takes the line on. He's very brave. So he's been fantastic for them this year. All right, well, over to South. I mean, they're coming up against a well-rested Panthers outfit. Uh, there's been a bit of spite between these two in the final series for the last couple yeah. of years. Penrith have come out on top. How does South flip the script going into this series? Well, I think they've got some momentum. So their last two weeks, uh, against you know Cronulla and against the Roosters. They've built momentum, they've built some confidence and Latrell Mitchell hasn't played against the Panthers in finals for the Bunnies over the last couple of years. So he's a big he's a big addition. He really is. Like he's a big game player. And you look at South Sydney's record before Latrell came back from America and now after he comes back, it's significantly different. So what he adds to the group is a whole heap of X factor. And then he's got guys like Cody Walker, Damian Cook, Cameron Murray, just to name a few. So drop, drop, um, yeah exactly yeah it's some name dropping there. But but they bring a whole heap of quality to, to the Bunnies. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a really good contest to watch on Saturday evening. All right, how is the game one? If you're looking at, as I said, well-rested, 13 players back, puppeteer in full form. We'll look over to South, Latrell Mitchell, top of his best game, I would say. How is it won? I think it's won through defence this week. And Penrith Panthers have probably made, been the most consistent defensive side over the last couple of seasons. Um, I think they can suffocate the, the Rabbitohs. And they do that by Nathan Cleary's kicking game. So where they hand over the ball to Latrell Mitchell and, and the South Sydney Rabbitohs, but then their defence. They're so well aligned and they work together so well, whether it's their ruck defence or their edge defence. They do a super job. So can they suffocate the Rabbitohs? Yeah, I think they can. But it's where they put the trail Mitchell and where they put the Bunnies in uncomfortable uh, situations on the field. That's what they need to do and, and that's what they will do. Alright, so Penrith? I'm going to go for Penrith. I'm, I'm going to go for Penrith this week. I think it, it'll be a Penrith versus Parramatta or Western Sydney Grand Final. Um, but again, probably don't follow my tip. <laughs> week, so. Well, it saves us so far, basically it said West is best for this weekend. Yeah. Well, thank you very much.